Hello, and welcome to a special bonus edition of Robert Does a New York Times Crossword. So I'm here again on the variety part. Um, so every Sunday, in addition to the, the Sunday puzzle, they'll post some, some bonus puzzles, some variety puzzles. These appear in print, I think, in New York Times Magazine. Uh, so if you saw my previous video on cryptic crosswords, uh, I did one from the end of 2020. But I also said in that video that my favorite variety is actually the puns and anagrams variety, um, which is sort of like a cryptic crossword for dummies, because it's cryptic crossword-ish in style, but there's a lot more crosses to help you out. So I've done quite a lot of them, but there's at least one from 2019, I think, that I have not yet done. Some of these you can't do online, you have to print them out. Um, but here, October 20th, 2019, puns and anagrams. This one is by Mel Taub. Uh, and yeah, so it's kind of like a mix between a crossword and a cryptic crossword. Uh, there's more punning and anagramming going on in the clues. So you have to think a little bit harder about the clues, but there's lots of crosses. Okay, so I've um, enjoyed doing these. Let's get into this one. They secure a hundred light fixtures and name for 50 to cross. That is it. Cowboys throw them at liars. A T. Uh, so this is uh, lariats, I think, as a as an anagram of at liars, and the definition here is cowboys throw them. Pan or other kitchen item. Hmm. So I always look for anagrams first. Here it's five letters. So pan or can that be in anagrammed? Um, not that I can tell. Oh, apron. Other kitchen item, okay? Like guys without a heart. Hmm. Like guys without a heart. So I'm trying to take like the middle out of guys. That's not gonna work. Take the middle out of like guys. I don't know. Uh, they secure 100 light fixtures. This is clamps because C in Roman numerals can stand for 100. So C lamps, maybe? Yeah, C, C lamps could. <laughs> Yep, that could be it. I don't know about this. Erect TP around you. So this is put, because I'm going to put a T and a P around the U. So it's a pun. Making stabs in grapes. Uh, but too many letters. Um, not sure about that. So this is L-A-V-O. So it's oval going up. Hmm. So does this end in up? Uh, not sure. Let's see this. Ladies with crazy mornings. He's president no more. Boy in a Tam O Shanter. So here, I think I'm looking for Amos. So it's this is cryptic crosswordy. Um, yeah, so inside this phrase, Tam O'Shanter, which I don't know what that means, actually. There's a boy's name, Amos. Okay, Politico, who's not one of these. So Dem. Right? These versus them, and Dem is a Politico. Cousin of Lana. So this could just be Alan. Could be. I teamed up to be a go-between. I teamed up to be a go-between. I don't know yet. Drink to enjoy while resting. Don't know. Ladies with crazy mornings. Uh, ma mad AMs. <laughs> right, madams means ladies and crazy mornings, mad AMs, okay? A lot seem to be eaten at brunch. Omelets. So I guess this is just an anagram of lot seem. What a ranter may do to a story. So I see an R and a T, so maybe we should anagram a ranter. Um, narrate. <laughs> Lots of anagrams. Main doc going place to place. So again, I see O-M-A, and there's seven letters, so we should anagram main doc. Um, Is it a C or a D at the start? Dama, Nick, Damasin, Komanid, 
Nomad. Nomad. I'm missing an IC. Nomadic. Uh, that, that's cool. Reporter's favorite things at ice cream shops. So this is just scoops. So that's just a pun. Cartoon dog and pony. So question mark. I don't know. The heavenly hunter Orion say. Ah, uh, so it's just Orion. That's a heavenly hunter, this, the, um, the constellation, and it's said like Orion. Like guys without a heart. So this has to be mean, but what's the pun? I don't get it. Uh, this is shape up, so it is mean, because oval is a shape. Let's just look at 52 across, so I keep on getting a reference to it. Popular, poplar slash chestnut cross. So some kind of tree. Name for a 52 across, that is. Don't know. Cartoon dog and pony, so. Snoopy. Right? Pony, that's an anagram of pony son, it's cartoon dog. Pearl buck heroin in Poland. So I guess this is Olan, because it's that's in Poland. I don't I'm not familiar with the the Pearl Buck heroin. So this is going to be like Charlie, I guess. Shares introducer. And Andy's one equivocal reply. So this is going to be an anagram of Andy's one. So it's going to be yes and no. That is an equivocal reply. Foreign but not juror news. Uh, so, okay, so you take out the G-E-R out of foreign. I think you left with F-O-I-N, info. Yep, that's legit. Sticks iron into skin. So here I'm going to put F-E because that's the atomic symbol for iron, and I have four letters left over for skin. So it's knives. Ah, so it, it's a pun. That's That's cool, right? Making stabs in grapes. Mm, spearing. So uh, in the word in, and this is an anagram of in grapes is what I'm trying to say, and it does mean making stabs. 18 on the periodic table, A, B, B, R. So isn't the 18th element a noble gas, right? Helium is two. Neon Argon, so A-R-N-O, Snared Segovia, Andres, he's present no more, puts a tax agency on TV, airs, so on, on TV is airs and there's IRS, I got A I R S. Yeah, okay. So this is Monroe. He's present no more. That's just an anagram of no more. And I think this is Arno, but I don't know what that is. Just because Argon is the 18th. Arno. Nane. Nino. Nino. I teamed up to be a go between. Uh, mediums. Uh, no. Teamed. So this could be an anagram. Oh, mediate. That's an anagram of I teamed. Drink to enjoy while resting. So this could be a, an anagram of resting. Stinger. That is Nino. Chic finish. Chicago. Cute. Okay, so this is a very common thing in these puzzles where you just fill in the letters and uh, the clue is a description once it's filled in. So this is step, because it's stairwell part. Very common. Not the most um, creative thing, but sometimes it's really cool that there's like a descriptor that you can pull letters out of in order to get the, the word that it describes. Enemies of Hearst. So this should be an anagram of Hearst. Haters. Clears up. So I think we're supposed to read this upward to make it clears, but I don't know what that is yet. Heard a call for a taxi. 
Uh, heard can sometimes mean something is sound sounds like so a call for hail don't know mashes humiliations so this is shame so that's an anagram of mashes not an if or an and sigh on tennis court mm. hobnob Male protuberance. I think that's right. Snared Segovia. So this is going to be a, uh, a cyborg. Yeah, I see. So Borg, Bjorn Borg is a tennis player. Non if or an and. This is a but, but that's like a word, right? To like be next to. This has got to be Andres, although I don't really get the clue. By which I mean I don't get the clue at all. However, T doesn't give a hoot. So is there a, don't know. To encourage some illegal gambling is to a bet. <laughs> yeah. A teen? No. So this is going to be just an anagram. And it's going to be something clever that's not a teen. Um, neonate? Yeah. So these are pretty good for getting your anagramming skills if you're about to do a puzzle hunt, say. Uh, shout out to my puzzle hunt team. We mostly anagram stuff <laughs> that we didn't need to anagram because if you read it correctly, you could read it in order. Many a bend you will find in this river. You will find in this river. Danube? Ah, uh, so, right. So Danube contains the letters A, bend, and U. So it's really an anagram of this, except with U read as the letter U. Item dat covers da face. Uh, da mask? Yeah, that is a word. That's right. That's like Damascus something. A detour scrubbed. So this is again going to be an anagram of a detour. Um, but I don't know it yet. Shares introducer. Moocher. Moocher. So this is, this is going to be pit, right? Pitcher. Should have known that, probably. Uh, aborted. Yep, that does mean scrubbed. Grieved over 500 late men, so it pays to know your Roman numerals, I believe. 500 is D. Grieved over 500 late men. So I see lament. Lamented. Yeah. So the 500 there is just the letter D. Features of track meets with hyphens in track and meets dashes those aren't dashes though those are hyphens they could have... shout out to bennett my fellow hyphen n dash m dash loving friend clears up so nets maybe sten is sten a word so okay so i should have mentioned that also all of the words in the crossword puzzle need to be legitimate words uh, so this is actually nino i guess uh, if you were to read it as an actual word. I don't know Olan, but I assume that's the Pearl Buck heroine. I don't know. I guess Arno is a name. What Elsa got drunk? Ales. Right, that's an anagram of Elsa. Heard a call for a taxi. So this is hail. Except spelled like, you know, the hail that means hearty. I don't know what sten means. Uh, but... Clears could be another word for like how much you earn. I clear, I'm a postdoc, I clear 60K a year or whatever. Uh, I net 60K a year. I gross it actually. Uh, but if you read it upward, you get nets. Maybe I should, <laughs> maybe I should bleep out my salary, but postdoc salaries are, are known to be bad, right? Uh, I mean, compared to some things. Backstreet girl. I don't know it. Uh, maybe, oh, Ava, because Av is a street read backwards. DC Evite tossed out. Evicted. So it's just a... These are nice because they are just anagrams oftentimes. Speaker who causes caused a stir. Uh, so is this an anagram of stir? Tr Triss? It could be, actually. 
let's see. However, T doesn't give a hoot, I don't know. Every other of the Pleiades. Okay, so here I should take every other letter to get uh, lids, lids. Who had trash removed from the building site? So this is gonna be an anagram of who had? No, it's not enough letters. Had trash, I guess. Hard hats. Blank person, French milkman. Lay person, so that's just a pun. Sign of a hot temper. Uh, oath, a hot, an oath is a sign, maybe. What follows category X? However, T doesn't give a hoot. What? I don't really get that one. Not yet, anyway. English composer in earnest. So this is Arnie. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Girl who's a sweet talker at heart. Edda, I think, because it's in the middle of sweet talker. They help start so many motors. So this could be an anagram of start so. Or stat stators leaks and teas in vessels for tea kettles. So this is an anagram of leak and two teas <laughs> and an. Yeah, leaks and teas in vessels for tea, okay? What it could be to add lie. So this is just gonna be an anagram of add lie. Delay, <laughs> nope. What it could be to add lie. Uh, deadly is an anagram there. What follows category X? I guess this is class Y, but however, T doesn't give a hoot. How's that scares? Let me know in the comments below if you, if you get that one. This one's classy though. They help to start many motor motors. I think this is Etta. Uh, no longer used is old. So th this is just staters, I guess. C city of Russian lore, oral is an anagram of lore. Okay. I should look up staters and sten at the end of this. Hole in one museum transparency. I don't know. Things at scene of bridge games. Things at? No. And mid east body of water with sides switched. Okay. So this says that you should switch the first and last letter of a word. Dead Sea. No. Okay, I don't know. Goodbye, R. Hmm. Woman who is less fat. March 4th. Hmm. What's well, a phrase? March 4th. Or 3 4. Speaker who caused a stir. Let's go with Triss. Let's just see. Area around the front, side, rear, etc. of a home. This could be an anagram of rear, etc. Yeah, terrace. Mideast body of water with sides switched. Sea dead? Seated? Like dead sea? Goodbye, R. Um. Hmm. 
poplar chestnut cross. He's not seated. Things at scene of bridge game. So this is could be an anagram at scene, I guess. S C E N E, yeah. At scene. That's what I'm missing. I'm missing E A N. Huh. Hole in one museum transparency. Hole in one. finish this puzzle. Woman who's less fat. Mm. So I think this should be a woman's name with some kind of pun. It's not an anagram, is it? No, can't be. It, 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 this, of course, might not end in E. Well, I kind of like seated. That is a midi's body of water with side switch. It's a dead sea, it's sea dead. Let's leave it. Goodbye, R. Uh, oh, I guess it's not seated. Uh, oh, it's sea red, <laughs> red sea. This is Tatar, so Tata R. Popular chest, Poplar chestnut cross. Arch, I, uh, sorry, larch. It's just in poplar slash chestnut. And wasn't this supposed to be Charlie? Name for a 52 across, that is. Oh, I see. So it's an anagram of larch with I E at the end, meaning that is. Okay. Woman who's less fat. Museum transparency and things at scene of bridge games. So this has tennis, ten aces, ten aces. Lena, Lena, Lena. Yeah, it's an anagram of lean. And hole in one museum transparency, acetate. So that's transparency, but what is hole in one museum? How is March 4th CEE? -E. Ah, it's the fourth letter in March is C. Okay, there you go. That's my favorite kind of variety puzzle. As you can see, it's kind of like an uh, kind of like a cryptic crossword for dummies because there's a lot of anagrams, and anagrams are sort of the easiest thing to do in a cryptic, and then like some kind of clever things, and there's lots of crosses. But let me just look up some things like Olan and Pearl S. Buck. It must be the name of a Pearl S. Buck heroin. Yeah, it's in fact even with a hyphen. So I've never read The Good Earth. I guess I should. I only le learn stuff for crosswords, I guess. Arno. Is this just a name? No, oh, it's a river in Italy. Shame on me. I found that, like, um, Jeopardy type people know the names of all these rivers and mountains, and that's not not really my strength, but I should learn them. Uh, this is just going to be the name of a composer, but let's check it. Sorry to my music friends. I have lots of very musical friends. Thomas, how do you pronounce it, though? It's just Arn, Thomas Arn. Rural Britannia and a hunting we will go. Okay, what is Stators? <laughs> There's so many things I don't know in this puzzle. The stationary portion of an electric generator or motor, especially of an induction motor. 
okay, they can help. They do help start many, so many motors. Shout out to my EC friends. Okay, Lariat I do know is like a something kind of like a lasso or a, maybe a Riata. But I only know, yep, a rope used for lasso or tethering. Um, was there anything else I didn't understand? There was. Sten. What is Sten? It's a family of British submachine guns. Did not know that. Yep, that's the first definition in Mario Munster. That seems like a good thing to know. That's just a Russian city. And Triss. So this is gonna be some <laughs> something I should know. It is almost certainly. It's not this. It is. Huh. Ah. It's it's the name of um, of this baseball player. Chris Speaker. That's a deep cut, 1888 to 1958, the Gray Eagle. Maybe maybe Tate knows this one. Okay, cool. So that's a puns and anagrams puzzle. I hope uh, hope you found that interesting. There are lots of them. I've played all the ones in 2020. I've now played most of the ones in the New York Times website is not that great. <laughs> See, like the, the time is actually even different. The, yeah, so I don't know exactly what's happening here, but if I have reloaded, I should say that I've done it now. Oh. There's another one from 2019, but I think I've done all the ones for 2020. Uh, I do recommend you give these a shot. They are pretty fun, just as like a little change to a, to a normal crossword. Um, my friend Tiff was asking me about acrostics, and I find acrostics super hard. Uh, I've maybe only done one. Oh, I, I tried to start the second one. <laughs> so these are all by Emily Cox and Henry Rathbon. I think this is a very regular occurrence. They, they sort of have a, I guess it's every two weeks. Um, I find them super hard. Maybe maybe I'll get into them, but for now, I'll stick to my cryptic crosswords, puns and anagrams, and normal crosswords. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, do give them a try. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.